Join me as I Bible journal some recent sermon notes. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I am going to be Bible journaling in the book of 2 Kings. I am in chapter 17. I'm going to be uh, journaling a quote from a recent sermon. I have my sermon notes ready to go right here. I have a few stamps pulled out and we're just going to have a little bit of fun in our Bible journal reflecting on um, some recent lessons that have been on my heart. So I will put you all on fast forward. As always, I will link everything that I use down in the description box below. Otherwise, let's go. I have really been enjoying this particular sermon series called King Makers that we have been doing at my church recently that has been going through first and second kings. And we are tracing the mistakes and the downfalls, not only of the kings of Israel and Judah, but also of the people who followed them. So um, that's what we're focusing on here in second kings. And I started out with some distress ink. This is ripe persimmon, a very uh, vibrant orange, and in fact, a very juicy ink pad because man, oh man, did there end up being a ton of ink on this particular domed blending brush. I actually switched brushes to a brand new one that had no ink on it just because there was a lot of excess ink. And I even had that little issue up at the top where there was a little extra. Um, I was a little concerned that this wasn't looking how I wanted it to look, but no worries with Distress Oxide. All you have to do, add a little water and the blending becomes much softer. So I added a little bit of water. We're blending out this orange just to give it a softer feel all around the edges. I'm wanting it to create a little bit of a border. And right now we're just working on the background. I wanted to have a little fun with some mixed media, which I have always loved doing in my Bible. I get questions all the time. Um, does this go through the page? Yes. Yes, it does. Distress Oxide does bleed through Bible pages. I use um, what you see behind my Bible page right there is actually a cutting board from the Dollar Tree that I use to back up Bible pages so that it doesn't go through several different pages all at once. So I always use that behind it. Um, and then I just am not really concerned if it goes through that Bible page. It's okay. This is probably, oh my goodness, my 10th different Bible journal that I've worked on. So if it soaks through, I either work with it on the other side or I just journal in a different Bible. That's kind of how it goes. All right. You, um, while I was talking, I was actually using some Neo color to crown to create a little bit of magenta in the background. And now I'm doing the Dina Wakely gloss spray for a few speckles. Again, just having fun with all the mixed media, creating a fun background. I wanted to go with kind of these warm tones, um, in what I was creating, knowing that I was going to be pulling some old illustrated faith ephemera that I had in my stash to write the quote that I'm wanting to write down. So um, the quote that I'm wanting to write, let me just read it to you because it really hit me. It says, nothing teaches us about the preciousness of the creator as much as when we learn the emptiness of everything else. And that is from Charles Spurgeon, Morning and Evening. And that just hit me because I think we as humans are naturally um, motivated to just search, search for something to fill an emptiness that we may have inside of us. And of course, as believers, we know that the only way to fill that is with God. It's a God-sized hole in our heart, but um, I think we're still tempted from time to time to search in other ways. And then when we feel that emptiness, that's when we truly appreciate um, um, just the amazingness of our creator. So I loved that quote, hit me real strong. So I wanted to have it in my Bible for sure within the second Kings uh, section. So I'm getting the ephemera down. Of course, that journaling card is going to be where I write out the quote. We have some beautiful uh, lighter pink hearts and then an orange star. This is like a color combo for the ages, pink and orange. I love that color combo. So we're going to get that star here. I wanted to outline it in black because I knew I was going to use black pen. I knew I wanted to bring black in with some other stamping of stars. So I needed black on this particular star. 
All right, this is an older stamp set that I'm using from Illustrated Faith, um, an Amen stamp set, and I'm using the large word Amen right there to go ahead and stamp that across the page because I think that it was, that's kind of what I felt like when I was reading this quote, just Amen. I completely agree with that quote. So I'm going to stamp it actually in the orange. That's unusual for me. Normally I stamp in black, but I thought black would be a little too intense. When I brought in the orange, loved it. It felt like a lot of orange and it felt like I needed a little bit more of that darker pinkish purple color that was in the journaling card. So I grabbed this Neo Color 2 crown, the same one you saw me use earlier. These are water soluble, which means they react with water. So you can color like a crown, which you see me doing right here as I kind of add a little bit of shadowing to the Amen. Then I'm going to come back with a water brush, a water paint brush that has water in the barrel and just activate the paint, the Neo Color 2 crown, and then blend it into the Distress Oxide that I stamped with. And I love this effect. Why have I not done this before, especially on lettering, stamping in a distress color and then coming back with Neo Color? Um, yes, please. That is something that I need to remember and experiment with just a little bit more because this ended up looking very cool. I, I can tell you it looks neater in person um, than it does on the screen. Now, anytime you are using mixed media and you have these layers, you're going to want to make sure that you dry in between layers and dry very thoroughly because if you are like me, the odds that you're going to accidentally drag your hand through a wet part on your page um, are really high. That's just, it's just going to happen. So I tried to be patient and dry. Um, I use my Ranger drying tool right here, kind of like a little mini hair dryer, but definitely gets hotter than a hair dryer and doesn't blow quite as hard. So if you're um, using it for embossing powder, it works really well. All right, wanted to bring in the quote, of course, so I'm going to very carefully write that out over on the sides. I'm also going to label the passage that I was studying or that we were looking at for this particular sermon, 2 Kings 17, 7 through 23, and then later on you'll see me add the date as well. Journaling and dating are always really important when you are Bible journaling because you're going to want to have references when you go back to look at these journal entries and other people that look at your Bible or that may be looking at your Bible will also appreciate those references. All right, here's where I knew I was going to bring a little bit more black. I'm going to grab some stars from that same Amen stamp set and stamp them around the page in black. The contrast just makes the orange and the pink pop a little bit more. It incorporates these hearts at the bottom a little bit better. So we're just going to put those across the page. And then I have some paint pens that I actually, they're geez, over a year old from the Stationery Pal. Love them. They have a beautiful pink that kind of picks up the pink of the hearts at the bottom of this page that I'm going to use, and then some orange as well. We'll fill those in and then call it a day on this Bible journal entry. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, um, watching as I kind of take some sermon notes into my Bible. This is a great way to revisit your sermon uh, during the week. So it's something I very much enjoy doing from time to time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Um, I will link the supplies that I used down in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. I'll also leave a link for this sermon series in case you're interested in checking it out as well. I would like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for your support. Uh, the month of August is all about mixed media over on Patreon, and we would love to have you join us if you are interested in joining. There is a tier for everyone, and you can find out more info by using the link for Patreon down in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.